That's right guys, Ryan back with another video. Hope you guys are doing okay. And I know you're stuck at home. I know, I know some of you guys are out of work. I know someone messaged me, you're furloughed. Some of you are out of work completely. Some of you are kind of working from home, going crazy because, well, let's be honest. There's a lot of distractions at home. Namely one of them being, being YouTube. So if you're being distracted by YouTube, I hope you're at least watching my videos. Uh, that would be pretty cool. So if you are, just say hello and comment down below. But today, guys, I want to talk about how you can make some extra money while you're at home, because it's not a real. It's really not that hard. It's actually quite simple to do it. I bet if you look around the walls in the room you're sitting in right now while you're watching this video, there's some opportunity to make some dollars sitting on them shelves or in a cabinet or on your desk wherever it's at. I'm telling you right now, what I'm talking about is taking some of your collectible pieces that maybe are no longer your favorite thing to collect, right? I talk about this all the time, taking your collection, selling it and upgrading your collection or just getting rid of the pieces, thinning out the herd because I guarantee you, you're like me, you have bought things that uh, well, they were impulse buys. Let's be let's be honest. You were sitting there at the checkout center, and somebody said, "Hey, there's an Almond Joy. There's a Snickers. There's a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. You can let me know which one you would pick." I'm Almond Joy. I like those. But you you just they're impulse buys. You just put them in the cart and you go from there. Or if we're talking about Funko Pops, those uh, buy two get one free, buy three get one freeze, and you're always looking for that extra one that just to make the deal, and you no longer need them or you didn't really want them to begin with. Why not take those and turn it into cash? And I'm telling you right now, it's very simple. So I get a lot of messages on Instagram. You guys ask me, you know, how do I go about selling this? What's a good value for this? You know, that kind of stuff. And honestly, the solution is quite simple. And that brings me to today's sponsor, which is Mercari. That's right, guys, Mercari's back. And I wanna talk about how you can use Mercari to make some extra cash while you're sitting at home. Wait a minute, let me try something out. I have actually sold over $1,500 worth of items on Mercari already. The items I'm talking about, those things you no longer want in the collection, or maybe there's some other items, household items that you no longer use. Maybe somebody bought you a Christmas gift and you don't want it. We all got those, honestly. They're, they're in the re-gift pile. Instead of re-gifting it, sell it, put some money in your pocket. This is how you're going to do it. Check this out. I actually have a whole bin of pops that are in my overflow room that I decided to bring out for this video because honestly, some of these I, I no longer want. They're in storage, they're piled up, and they're, like I was telling you about, the buy two, get one free things. Let's talk about that. Like this, this right here, this pop. It's crazy, right? Crazy, I don't, I don't need that. This one right here, which I absolutely love the movie. But honestly, it was an impulse buy. You guys know I'm piling on the Star Wars stuff, and I got some Marvel stuff, and I got, well, I like Big Bang Theory. Yeah, I like that. But this was an impulse buy for me. And what about this? What about Turbo? This guy's vaulted. What about that? So I've got all these things, and I know you've got these. I know that you have items just like that sitting around, whether they're in a box or they're on a shelf, or they're stacked three or four deep. So one of the best ways to figure out what something is worth and what it's actually selling for is actually just pull up the app. Because on here, you can look for stuff that has sold and stuff that's listed. And if you look at the sold items, that's gonna give you a pretty good guideline of where you wanna be. So here we go. I'm gonna look uh, for the Turbo Disney Pop. Now this one's got a little damage. It's not minty fresh, okay? It's got a little damage to it, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put in Turbo, let's see if I can get this right here. Turbo Funko, oh, I can spell today. That would be awesome. Funko Pop. And let's look and let's see what's actually sold. Here we go. So here it is. There's a uh, Browse Funko Collectibles right there. Here's some items here. $17, $14, $15 going on there. If I wanna look at sold items, I can just hit that button right there. And I can see $13, $7 out of box. Right? $10, $14. So here it is. The decision you got to make is, would you rather have this sitting on the shelf or would you rather have 14 bucks, $10, whatever that is, and go get something else or just put it in your bank account for a rainy day like that the kind of craziness is going right now. It might be nice to have that. So we're actually going to list this guy right now. I'm going to show you how easy it is. It's actually quite simple. And what I like to do, guys, is I like to take, again, my collection to pay for my collection. In fact, selling items just like this on Mercari is exactly how I was able to afford this premium format General Grievous, which is flipping. All 
so right here I'm just gonna hit this sell button super easy and it's gonna bring up the camera we're gonna take some pictures of this guy now we'll tell you the more pictures you take the better your odds of selling something are so just be mindful of that it's really quite simple there's your picture it's gonna start you with one and then you got to put in your description so we're gonna add Funko Pop and we're gonna put Disney turbo vaulted oh I can't even spell today look at that it's terrible oh my goodness Funko Pop there we go you can add some hashtags Disney right I can add turbo in there this is actually quite simple we're gonna go to the search bar we're gonna choose turbo we're gonna hit that button right there hit apply I mean condition I'm gonna say it, it's fair it's got some issues right it's got a little bubbling it's got some creases on there and uh, there we go we'll put in the description not mint there we go <laughs> we're gonna keep this kind of simple put 12 ounces or 10 ounces that's good for right in a second there we go and usually I pack these in an 8 by 6 by 6 box once you got that you can hit calculate shipping it's got to be 4.99 for shipping which is super easy and actually when you make a sale you just get an email you print the label and you put it on the box and you drop it off it's I, mean, I can't be any simpler than that so there we go we're gonna set our price we'll set it you nailed it prices on the money 15 bucks boom there you go I mean, here it goes, guys. I've got $15. I've got some shipping costs in there. I'm going to earn $8.51 for something that was sitting on my shelf that I no longer need. So we're going to list that up. And boom, there we go. We're up for sale. Now, some of you might be following me and you might want to buy this. I don't know. It's a Disney Vault and Pops. Pretty cool. But it's it's really that simple, guys. And I know a lot of you guys out there are saying, you know, uh, you know, times are a little rough right this second and uh, you need some extra cash this is just a good way to do it so i highly recommend it again i've made like 1500 bucks selling items on mercari and it's easy now here's the cool thing if you sell something expensive let's say you've got something like this the mandalorian nycc pop which is like 150 bucks right now crazy right started at 15 now it's 150 where's it gonna go i don't know but anytime you do shipping with uh mercari you actually get 200 dollars in insurance included in the cost so that's pretty nice this right here if i sell i don't know a few of these i don't know 10 15 of these things i can go get me another six scale figure or maybe i can go get a grail or maybe i can fix a lawnmower or i can fix a car or i can put something in a rainy day fund whatever that is it doesn't even matter what you do with it the fact is it's really quite easy and i use it often and i really like it so that's the video for today guys i really appreciate you guys i hope you are all doing very well if you haven't checked out mercari yet what are you waiting on? Link in the description below. Definitely check it out. I've got some other items I'm going to be listing. Literally, I have all these ones I just showed you. I'm going to be listing all of these because I've got some. I've got my eye on something that I would like to add to the collection. And rather than taking money out of the bank account, I'd rather take it out of a shelf that I'm no longer really using. I just think that makes sense. What about you guys? Guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you've sold on Mercari. If you have sold something amazing, how much have you made? What are you looking for? Or you have like an in search of list right now? That'd be kind of cool. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. As always, guys, click what you like. See you next time.